Meaning of True Love, Part 6, In Spoken Truths Weeks had passed since their last heartfelt conversation at Jack's apartment, and their relationship continued to shift, subtly yet unmistakably. They spent more time together now, weekend breakfasts, late-night drives, and spontaneous calls just to hear each other's voice. There was something magnetic in their bond, a pull neither of them wanted to resist. But with this deepening connection came a quiet tension, an unspoken weight they both felt but hadn't yet addressed. One chilly Friday evening, Emma invited Jack to join her for a small gathering at her friend Sophie's place. It wasn't anything formal, just a few close friends and some wine. The kind of gathering that should have been easy. But as the night went on, the unspoken tension between Emma and Jack simmered under the surface, lurking behind every glance, every shared laugh. Uh, we're just, you know, taking things slow. Yeah, we're figuring it out. So, Sophie's question back there, it kinda caught me off guard. How are you feeling about it? Honestly, I wasn't expecting it either. I mean, we've been good, haven't we? I didn't think we needed to define things right now. Yeah, we've been good. But maybe we do need to talk about it. About us. What are we, Emma? Where are we going with this? Question, Emma. What do you think we need to address first as we figure out where we're going? A. Defining the relationship and setting expectations. B. Understanding what we both want long term. C. Making sure we're both on the same page emotionally. Answer. C. Making sure we're both on the same page emotionally. I think what's most important right now is making sure we're on the same page emotionally. Option C. We've been building this connection for a while, but I don't want to rush into defining it without knowing how we both feel. It's one thing to say we're moving forward, but it's another to make sure we're both in the same place with our feelings. I agree. We've always been good at talking things through, but this is different. It's new. I want to make sure we're doing this right, for both of us. Exactly. I don't want to push us into something we're not ready for, but I also don't want to avoid it forever. We need to figure out what we're feeling before we start labeling things. They continued their walk the tension between them easing slightly now that the conversation had been opened. But Emma couldn't shake the feeling that there was more beneath the surface, something neither of them was saying. When they finally reached Emma's apartment, she paused before unlocking the door, turning to face Jack again. Jack, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. Do you ever think about what happens if this doesn't work out? I know we're trying to take things slow, but does that ever cross your mind? Question. Jack, do you ever worry about what happens if things don't work out between us? A. Yes, I think about it sometimes. B. No, I try to stay focused on the present. C. I think it's natural to have some doubts, but I'm not afraid of them. Answer. C. I think it's natural to have some doubts, but I'm not afraid of them. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about it, but I don't let those doubts control me. Option C. 
It's natural to have some fear when you're putting yourself out there, but that's part of what makes it worth it. I'm not afraid of us failing, because I believe we can handle whatever comes our way. I'm glad you said that. I've had doubts too, but I don't want them to define what we're building here. I'm scared, but I'm also excited, and I think we can handle it, whatever it is. Yeah, we'll figure it out, together. They stepped into the warmth of Emma's apartment, leaving the cold night behind. The tension that had clouded their evenings seemed to dissipate as they sat down on the couch, a sense of calm settling between them. But as they sat there in the quiet, Emma felt another question burning at the back of her mind, one she hadn't dared ask before. Jack, what do you see for us, not just now, but in the future? Do you see this going somewhere, serious? Question. Jack, what do you think is the key to making sure we can build something lasting together? A. Establishing a clear vision for our future. B. Staying adaptable as we grow. C. Continuing to nurture our emotional connection. Answer. B. Staying adaptable as we grow. I think the key to building something lasting is staying adaptable as we grow. Option B. People change, and relationships change with them. If we can stay open to those changes and keep evolving together, then I think we'll be able to build something strong. It's not about having everything figured out from the start. It's about being willing to change with each other over time. I like that. We don't need to have all the answers right now, but we do need to be open to where this takes us. I think we can do that. They sat in a comfortable silence for a while, each of them processing what had just been said. It felt like a weight had been lifted. And for the first time in a long while, Emma felt certain that they were heading in the right direction. You know, I'm glad Sophie asked that question tonight. It forced us to talk about some things we've been avoiding. Yeah, leave it to Sophie to push the boundaries, but I guess it worked out, didn't it? Yeah, it did. As the night deepened, so did their connection. The questions had been hard, but necessary. And as they sat there, their fingers intertwining, they both knew that whatever came next, they were in it together. As Jack leaned in to kiss her, the unspoken truths between them dissolved, leaving only the warmth of their newfound understanding. Two people ready to face the unknown, one step at a time, without fear. Five words and phrases related to the theme of the meaning of true love, part six, in spoken truths. Reassurance. Finding comfort in their mutual commitment to face challenges as a team. Courage. The bravery to face the unknown and take the next step in their relationship. Uncertainty. Acknowledging the unpredictability of their future while embracing it together. Clarity. The growing understanding of their needs and desires as they define their relationship. Openness. Willingness to be honest and transparent about their feelings and intentions.